This is a video on the analog TV transmitter that I made. I used the same video transmission standards that were created in the 1950s. It's actually surprising how simple it was to make a transmitter, and that's what I'll be doing in this video. I was thinking of getting a CRT TV at first, because I thought it was the only type of TV that could pick up analog stations. It turns out I was wrong. Apparently, most TVs still have analog tuners. I was pretty surprised. First I tried looking in the settings of this older Samsung TV. It mentioned analog. Then I looked at two new Samsung TVs, and they also had a tuner in it. This TV was bought a month ago, and can tune to a nearly 75 year old standard. So I had a way to watch this video, but now I needed to create it. I looked into analog transmitters and found a great tutorial from the Antenna Man. The setup is really simple. You basically need to convert the video to analog, then modulate it, which is basically putting that video on a certain channel, and then you need to amplify it so you can pick it up from your TV. I'll explain this a lot more later. So you need a HDMI to composite converter, then a modulator, then an amplifier, and then an antenna. And you probably want an antenna to pick it up on the other TV if you don't already have that. So I ordered the parts from Amazon and waited for them to get here. Once they were all here, I started assembling the pieces together. This is how I did it. First, get your HDMI to composite converter. This is the device that converts the digital signal into an analog signal. Plug that into the modulator. The modulator takes the low frequency video signal and transfers that to a higher frequency TV signal on a certain channel. Now hook up a coax cable, I recommend a thick cable to prevent interference, to the RF out jack on the modulator. By the way, RF stands for radio frequency. Now we have the right signal, but we need a way to distribute it to the TVs. The way you do this is with an amplifier and antenna. My amplifier is just a cheap one from Walmart. This part is actually a little confusing at first because of the unconventional use case. The amplifier comes with two parts, the power injector and the amplifier itself. Basically, you have the coax cable with the video signal, and you plug that into the antenna in jack on the amplifier. Then you run another coax cable to the power injector. Finally, you have an amplified output from the end of the power injector. Congratulations, you are officially a nerd. Uh, I mean, you just made your own analog TV transmitter. Now just plug in the power to all the different parts and hook up an antenna to the end and you're all set. I have to use a coax coupler to connect the two ends together by the way. You'll probably have to do the same, otherwise it just won't work. For the antenna, I recommend a set of rabbit ear antennas for the best results, but a flat one will probably be okay. I decided to put everything in an old Amazon box, but I'm not really sure I recommend this. It could be a fire hazard. Anyway, now for the moment of truth. Look at that. <coughs> a crystal clear image. Okay, I know this looks absolutely horrible compared to modern day standards, but I think it looks amazing. Here's some comparisons between digital video and then the version converted to analog. Let's run some tests through it. Right now you're seeing my camera's life being hooked up directly to the transmitter, but that's not the only thing you can do. You can also just plug it right into your computer or any other HDMI device. What's great about this cheap HDMI adapter that I use is that it supports basically any resolution that you throw at it. It's all going to be converted to this lower quality anyway. For most of the clips you see here, I'm running a 4x3 video to the transmitter. You can actually do this with a 16x9 video too, and all you have to do is change some settings on your TV to fit the screen. Sadly, this won't give you any extra resolution because it just stretches out the 4x3 image to make it 16x9. That's why this entire video is in 4x3. It just fits the native aspect ratio of the standard of the time. Anyway, back to the tests. For copyright reasons, I can't show all the cool stuff that I want, but I'll leave a link in the description and in an iCard where I tested a bunch of other copyrighted stuff. But here's some of the stuff I can show in this video. Something that I noticed while filming this is that you need a good amount of light for the video to look good. There's horrible dynamic range and I don't know if it's the technology itself or the components I've used to build this. There's just barely any detail in these dark scenes, everything just looks dark. As long as you have enough contrast, you can make it look decent. Anyway, why would I want to build an obsolete and practically useless video transmitter? I'm not really sure. I love watching videos from technology connections and stuff on analog video. I just love seeing the massive transmitters that we use and how cool the fuzzy video looks. So many huge YouTubers use VHS effects just because it kind of looks cool. And being able to make my own true analog video without special effects is quite the flex. Trust me, this thing is guaranteed to make you tons of friends. I started watching videos on the final minutes of Analog TV on June 12, 2009, at least in the United States. I was kind of sad to see this really cool technology go away. The imperfections of the picture, 
the snow on the screen, all the stuff that gives Analog TV its character. Families sitting in their living room watching TV and suddenly it's just snow. All the CRTs would become useless until they had the digital converter boxes. These analog transmitters had been running for years and would be shut off for good and sold off or recycled. If you like this kind of stuff, I made a playlist of some cool analog videos that I found. Link below. Anyway, I felt some nostalgia around it, and I know that I was way too young to care that I was watching analog TV at the time. I know that some people will never get to experience this again, but I really wanted to. And I think that pretty much sums up this video. I hope you enjoyed this look into such a cool technology and I hope you learned something. Thanks for watching.